The flavours of butternut squash, chilli and coconut go together so well and I'm going to combine them in a really delicious pie topped off with some crisp golden puff pastry. So I've got some oil heating in a pan and I've got some red onion and then some green peppers. And these need to fry for about 10 minutes until they've started to soften and take on a little bit of colour. So after about 10 minutes, those peppers and onions will be really nice and soft. We've just started to colour slightly. So then in with the star of the show, the butternut squash. And then in with some garlic and some chilli flakes. Give that a little stir. And then just pour over some vegetable stock. So bring it up to a gentle simmer, cover it with a lid and leave it to cook for about five minutes to start to soften the squash. squash is just going to have started to soften and soak up all the lovely flavours from the chilli, garlic and the stock. Then in with some coconut. Now I'm using coconut cream which comes in a block and what that'll do is thicken the sauce as it cooks and add a really creamy texture to the filling of the pie. And then as that melts I'm just going to go in with some sun-dried tomato paste and then some chopped fresh tomatoes as well. So at this stage, you just need to cook it out until the coconut cream has melted and coated everything evenly. And take that off the heat and then this can go straight into a pie dish. And now really importantly, this needs to set aside to cool completely before you put the pastry on the top. So the filling's nice and cool now. I've got some puff pastry that I've just rolled out to the thickness of a pound coin and then take a little bit of water, just brush it all around the outside of the pie dish, and that's gonna to help to glue the pastry to the edge and stop it from shrinking in. So then lay the pastry over the top. Let's take a sharp knife and then just run it around the outside. And once you've trimmed it, just push all around the edge to make sure you've got a good firm seal on there. So that's the pie topped. Then just take the knife and make a little slit in the middle and what that'll do is allow the steam to escape as the pie bakes. It'll stop the pastry from going soggy and it'll also stop it from lifting off the top. And then I've got some egg wash here, so it's just a combination of beaten egg and milk. Just brush that all over the top and that's what's going to give it that lovely sheen. So you can use the excess pastry to decorate the pie. So I'm going to go for some leaves. So just keep going until you've got a nice pattern over the top. Final little egg wash over the top of the leaves. And then to finish with, a little pinch of sea salt flakes, and that's going to add a really nice crunch to the pie crust. And then a few chilli flakes as well. And then that goes into a hot oven, 200 degrees for the first half an hour, and turn the temperature down to 180 and cook it for another 25 minutes until it's risen crisp and golden.